This is question five from paper 3-1 from June 2020 from CIE. Up the top right of this screen, you'll find a card that'll bring you to the playlist of all the other questions from this paper. And below the video, you'll, in the description, you'll find a link to an image of this question, which I recommend you use to try the question before looking at my solution. The exam gives us these two expressions. They don't put it like this, but they give us the top expression and they tell us it is divided by the bottom one. And they want us to find the quotient and the remainder. Just to remind you, um, if we divide two things, seven divided by two, it will equal three plus a remainder of one. Or another way to write that is three and a half. So that's what they want us to do here. They want us to divide it in, see how many times it goes in, two goes into seven, three times, and then how many remainders, and in this case, one. So that's what they want us to do here. And here's how we do it. We, it's like long division. We set this up, um, we write the expression down again inside a, a division sort of <laughs> thing here. You'll see what I mean now in a moment. And this thing, and then uh, we divide it by this. That's x squared. And now here's where it gets a little complicated. x squared plus three. Just to help us do this algorithm of how to divide it, we really want to have um, a, all the x's. We want x squared, we want the x, we want the non-x. And again here, we want x, that should be cubed. Uh, we want the x cubed part, the x squared part, the x part, and the non-x part. And it is helpful to have all of them. So if you're ever missing one of these in this part or this part, it's best to put in 0x in this case, or 0x squared, or whatever you need to. So now we just carry on like normal. What would we have to multiply this by to get this? The first thing we can line up is the first part. So what would we have to multiply x squared by to get 2x squared? We'd have to multiply by 2x. So let's do it. 2x multiplied by all of this, we'll get 2x uh, cubed, plus this one will get 0x squares. You can just write zero, of course, but it just helps to line up. Um, 2x times the 3 will give 6x. And we take this away, and we see what remainder that part has. That's a zero. Minus x squared, take away nothing, is still minus x squared. That's, uh, we get a zero x. Helpful to leave in the zero x. And we'll take down this, or, or you could think of it like zero being here. And then that leaves a 3 here. Or we could say we just take it down. But really, that's what's happening. Zero, we're taking zero away from it. Okay, now we ask ourselves, what do we multiply this by to get this? And uh, we get minus one, we'll multiply the first one to get here. And that's all we really need. Minus one by this is zero x. And minus one times three is minus three. So many students um, canceled all this and got zero remainder. That is wrong. Have a closer look. This is the same as this, they cancel. Same as this. This is not the same. We take it away. 3, take away minus 3. 3 minus minus 3 is 6. So 6 remainder. So there's our answer. Uh, the quotient is uh, 2x minus 1, and the remainder is 6. That is the full marks to part A. Now for part B, uh, I think I'll go ahead and rub this out first for part B, because I'm going to need a bit of room. Okay, here's part B, very similar to part A in that we have this dividing thing. And then the secret to this is not to try and do this question. The secret is to do this different question. Divide this in, we get, uh, here it is here, we get 2x minus 1 with a remainder of 6. And using, using this example over here, we can see how to do that. 2 goes into 7, 3 times the quotient of 3 plus remainder one. And really it's one divided by the two we get. So it's the remainder divided by the divisor here. So that's this is the same as this question. Let me put a bracket in here with the dx. So instead of doing this question, too difficult, we'll do this uh, new one. And that's the, that's the secret to start this question. Okay, so let's, uh, let's do this. Let's separate it first. Uh, we'll do two parts. We'll do uh, three, uh, the integral of between 1 and 3 of 2x minus 1 first, because that's easy to do. And then we'll do this one separately. 3, uh, 6 divided by x squared plus 3. This is a, a, a good bit more difficult to do. So we'll do this one separately. This one, I can do it. The, I, I might as well do it now. We'll get uh, 2x squared divided by 2, just normal integration. Minus, integrate, minus 1 is minus x. 
and uh, that is uh, evaluated between three and one. Uh, we'll do that part at the end because we can evaluate it all at the same time. Okay, so let's concentrate on doing this question here. This is going to be the same if we, we can take the six out. That's the first easy thing we can do. And then one over x squared plus three. Right, lots of students will try to um, um, put u equals the x squared plus three. It doesn't work out because when we differentiate that u, we'll end up with an extra x out that doesn't cancel anywhere to the top. So a lot of students get confused by this one. We just have to notice that we're actually given the answer to this in our formula table. We, I'll write it up over here. I'll just grab my formulas. And see, we're told how to do a question like this. We're told that the answer to a question that looks like the integral of one over x squared plus a squared is equal to, um, let me put a dx in there, is equal to one over a, the, the inverse tangent of x over a. So we're given this as a solution. You can go ahead and uh, look up the proof to this. I don't have it on the channel at the moment. I might by the time you watch this. But you can go ahead and look this up, but you're given it in the exam. And that looks a lot like this. X squared, one over x squared plus a squared. One over x squared plus, okay, not quite a squared, but we can just rewrite that. And this is gonna be the same as six, the integral between three and one of one over x squared plus the square root of three squared. Now, now we have a squared. So, uh, sorry, I'm missing dx's all over here, dx. So now we just copy and paste from the rule we're given. Uh, so the answer to this part, I'll, I'll ignore this part for the moment, the answer to this part will be just six multiplied by one over a, one over square root of three, the inverse tangent of, uh, let's see, x, x over a, a is square root of three. So, oh, and all this is evaluate between three and one. Let me separate this out here. All right, so that is the integral of all this. This is the integral of the first part, the integral of the second part. We just need to put in the numbers now. So I think, yeah, I have room to do all this. Actually, let me write it out one last time. The integral i, we'll, we'll call the whole thing i. The integral i is equal to two x squared over two, which is just x squared, minus x um, plus, we can divide the square root of three in. This is made up of square root of three, square root of three, and a two. So we're left with two square root of three, and tangent minus one of x over square root of three. All of this gets evaluated between three and one. All right, hopefully you are all following still. I just need to put in these numbers then. I just need to put three into every x, and then I need to put, take away when I put one into every x. Let's go ahead and try that here when we have room. Uh, put three in, I get nine minus three plus two over square root of three. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'll, no, I'll do this separately. Uh, the inverse tangent of three divided by square root of three is square root of three. And then we'll take away when I put one in. So I take away one squared, minus minus another one and then minus two times the square root of three the inverse tangent of one over square root of three one over square root of three i know that might be hard to see there hopefully uh, you can follow along and next line we should be able to clean a lot up we have nine minus three and uh, minus one plus well they cancel so we just get six plus two times square root of three, and the inverse tangent of the square root of three, we can look it up on our calculators or we'll have it in a formula table. The inverse tangent of the square root of three is 60 degrees, or we could call it um, pi over three. I'd much rather calling it pi over three. Two over square root of three times pi over three. Two times square root of three is also this one. And um, so what is the, inver tan the inverse tan of one over square root of three? And again, we can just look that up. It is 30 degrees, or if we rather pi over six, pi over six, and I do rather, I do rather using radians. So that's pretty much it. We just need to clean that up a slight bit. I think all we can do is 
6 plus 2 square root of 3 and this becomes pi over 6. I think that is the full marks. Or I guess we could probably clean this up a bit. Let's see, 2 will go into the 6 3 times. Square root of 3 will go into the 3 square root of 3 times. So the final answer, let's put them over here in a box. The final answer would be 6 uh, plus pi over square root of 3. That would be the final answer to this. Evaluate this question, the exact value. So that's what they wanted here. Um, I hope that answers all your questions. But if you do have any follow-ups, uh, put them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer you. A bit messy there, I apologise for that. I really need more boards to do this sort of maths. Or I need to be more organised, which isn't going to happen. Thanks for watching and have a great day.